This is BugleRoller.com. I'm going to show you an interesting feature with the Windows Mobile 6.1 on my T-Mobile Dash. Okay, you figure. Uh, let's go to text messages. Okay. Uh, I should go to this message right here. With, with this 6.1, it allows you to do what's called message threading. Okay, so you figure this is messages from um, a client of mine named Jerry. Receive one on 627, another one on 628, another one on 77. So it allows you to see the text messages um, sort of like an instant message format or even like the Palm OS. So I can reply back and let's just say if I go hate, okay, and it stores the message, okay. Also, you figure if we go menu, new, okay, uh, let's say if I want to send a message to green, we'll just say green, okay. Mind you, you know, if someone's name starts, says that someone's name is Kevin or David or whatever, you can just type in the first few digits of their name, you can hit menu, and I I just hit the number two, which is for check names. It will check all the names that have the characters in there. Okay, so we'll just go there, select the number you want to use. Okay, and then it enters the, the message. The, I'm sorry, not the message, but the contact and their number. Then you can go ahead and type out a message. Let's just say, hey, and we'll hit send. Okay, another cool feature is if we go menu, SMS pack. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and go SMS group. Okay, you can actually select individual people you want to send a text message to. Okay, I wonder if I go menu, yeah, I can even go select all. So I can go select all to send a message to everyone with a cell phone. Uh, mind you, okay, when you have a person's contact information stored, their mobile number needs to be stored as their mobile number. That way, when you use this feature, it will send the text message to everyone with a mobile number. I may be wrong because if you like to take a look at this one, Brian Mellon. This one is to his company um, telephone number. But if I just hit next, okay, did I hit next? Yeah, I did. I'm right, just going through every single one of the contacts in my phone right now. I believe I may have two or three hundred in there right now, so it's going a little bit slow. Um, all right, so there, it added everybody in my phone to send a text message out to, all right? You figure when I type out the message and I hit send, it will send everyone an individual message. So, um, if you, like I said, if you send out to five different people, each person will receive its own individual message versus a message. Um, you figure if you type an email out and you send an email to 15 different people, well, all 15 people can see that you sent that message to that person that received it and 14 others. Well, send an SMS pack, it doesn't do that. Pretty cool, huh? We'll go cancel message. Um, another feature that I like as well, if I, if I go new, okay, you can type in, let's go test, okay, menu, copy, paste, select all, menu, you can cut, copy, and paste using the new Windows Mobile 6.1, whereas with the old Mobile 6.0, you couldn't do that. Um, let me see what else is pretty cool that I like on here. I'll go cancel message, save to drafts, no. Let's go back out. Um, all right, so yeah, T-Mobile, okay, if I'm here, this is, I can either check voicemail, hit the right button. This shows the latest, the newest text messages, okay? You can actually click it and it opens up the particular message that was shown right there. Um, let's go back again, so no messages. I've got four emails. Um, let me see, MMS, missed calls. Um, calendar, everything. And mind you, I'm just pressing the right button. Okay, you've got the music, you've got your photos. You can actually scroll through the photos that are stored on the device or on your SIM card. Okay, you got the settings, you've got the wireless manager, sell a task. This is actually pretty cool. All right, so you can actually, using this task manager, you can, uh, let's see, if you can reboot, shut down, close the screen, you know, show how much free memory you have. Um, Let's say view, no, let's go action. You can actually close all open programs or you can close others, meaning if I close others, it'll close everything minus the pictures underscore videos, which is selected. Um, Act to seek is not running. Responding, do you want to kill this task right now? Just hit no. Um, something else is pretty cool too. I'll hit start. All programs. Okay, I'm going to go accessories. I'm going to go, where are we at? Where are we at? OMAP clock. Ah, no wonder my device has been running slow. Mind you, um, once a month, maybe even bi-weekly, I like to do a fresh um, system reset 
just to clear out anything that I may have in there. But um, the last time I did, I didn't enable OMAP clock. So right here, I'm going to actually overclock my device. You can overclock your, your T-Mobile dash up to 288 megahertz. Um, I read somewhere online that anything over, I want to say 216 or 252 um, causes your device to crash. Um, I think, you know, I'll just leave it at 288 for right now. We'll hit done. Okay. Yeah. Leave it at that. I'll, I'll put up more videos later down the line. I just thought I'd show off um, the text message threading and a few other things that you can do on here with the T-Mobile Dash on the Windows Mobile 6.1. Bye now.